defunding our roads continues to be an ongoing debate. And one thing we've been hearing from many drivers is that they strongly oppose the governor's gas tax proposal. In fact, nearly 100,000 people have signed an online petition saying a new tax is not the answer. And the man who started it happens to be from Flat Rock. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig talked to him and the idea he has for fixing our crumbling roads. Like a lot of people, Aaron Johnson was upset when he heard about the proposed increase in the gas tax, and he's hoping lawmakers will figure something else out. Fix the damn roads. But then when Governor Gretchen Whitmer proposed an increase in the gas tax of 45 cents a gallon, Aaron Johnson thought... Anger and uh, stupidity. And then he started this online petition, No New Gas Tax in Michigan, on change.org, and they're closing in on 100,000 signatures. This is not a federal fund that's sitting around in a pile. The pile's still in our pocket, it's still in my pocket, it's still in your pocket. Gretchen Whitmer wants to have a 20 cent gas entry, uh, increase. <laughs> it's ridiculous. No, it's not. And 7 investigator Heather Catalo took the issue right to the governor. Did you lie to the voters? Oh no, not at all. So he was putting words in my mouth to deflect from the fact that he had no plan. I wouldn't call it a lie. I would call it being unprepared for her own truth. Johnson, an electrician, puts on a lot of miles a day to get to job sites. He's never hit a pothole or blown a tire, but he hopes his petition will get the attention of the governor and lawmakers in Lansing. His suggestion? Toll roads. Has anyone brought it to the table? And in the next 24 hours, Johnson is hoping to blow past 100,000 signatures, his way of helping to make the proverbial will squeak. We need to be squeaky, be loud. Be boisterous and let them know, let them know our voices with a passion. If you don't do it with a passion, nothing will happen. It'll just get swept underneath the rug. And Johnson said he and some friends are planning on taking some unpaid time off of work to print out the signatures and take them to Lansing. Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. Kim, thank you.